Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Hai Zhu from TU Delft. I'm going to present our work on variant based obstacle avoidance for MAVs in dynamic environments. Autonomous navigation of MAVs, like quad rotors, is essential for them to be deployed in many application fields, such as exploration, monitoring, and inspection. Recent works have demonstrated success for autonomous navigation of MAVs using only onboard sensors in static environments or in controlled dynamic environments with an overhead motion capture system. However, fully onboard autonomous navigation among moving obstacles is still very open and challenging. So the objective of this research is to develop an onboard approach for MAV collision avoidance in dynamic environments. Generally, onboard MAV collision avoidance approaches can be divided into two main groups. The first one is reactive methods, which are shown to be very fast, but the MAV dynamics are not taken into account. The other recent popular pipeline is to generate dynamically feasible trajectories for MAVs in real time using an occupancy map. However, they are generally limited to static environments. Comparing with the state of the art, the main contribution of this paper is an integrated system for MAV collision avoidance in dynamic environments. In our proposed approach, moving obstacles are detected and tracked from onboard depth images. And MAV collision free trajectories are generated using a chance constrained model predictive controller, taking into account the MAV localization and obstacle detection uncertainties. We built a testing platform using the Parrot Bebop 2 quad rotor, mounted with an NVIDIA JSON TX2 computing board and an Intel RealSense camera, as shown in the left figure here. The right figure illustrates an overview of our proposed system, which has three main components. MAV state estimation, obstacle detection and tracking, and model predictive control. In this work, we focus on the last two modules. For the first one, MAV state estimation, we rely on a previously published VIO method. Using the proposed system, we have demonstrated success for collision avoidance for a quad rotor in dynamic environments. In this video, the quad rotor was flying in a long corridor with both static obstacles and walking human obstacles. In this experiment, a maximum speed of 2.4 meter per second was achieved by the quad rotor. Now we describe our obstacle detection and tracking algorithm. The main idea is to detect the obstacle position and the size using onboard camera depth images and the generated U depth maps and then estimate the obstacle velocity as well as uncertainty using a common filter. In this slide, the figure shows a snapshot of an experiment, the onboard camera depth map, and the two detected moving obstacles. In particular, we model each obstacle as a three-dimensional box. Using the MAV onboard camera depth image, we first generate the U depth map, which is computed with the column depth value histograms of the original depth image. Next, we find the obstacle height and the Z position based on the depth image. And we further find the obstacle box length, width, and its XY position based on the U depth map. Until now, we have obtained both the position and the size of the obstacles. Then, we use a common filter to estimate the obstacle velocity and the motion uncertainty. Finally, the closest two obstacles are expanded from three-dimensional boxes to ellipsoids and fed to the chance constrained model predictive controller for collision-free trajectory planning. At each time step, the model predictive controller generates a dynamically feasible and collision-free trajectory within a short time window by solving a non-convex optimization problem. Only the first control input is executed, 
and this process will continue iteratively until the MAV reaches its goal location. To account for MAV localization and obstacle detection uncertainties, we formulate a chance constrained model predictive controller based on our previous work. The chance constraint is formulated to ensure the clearance probability between the MAV and obstacles is below a specified threshold, which is generally intractable for op optimization. We predict the obstacle movement with uncertainty covariance using a constant velocity assumption and a Kalman filter, and then reformulate the chance constraint to a deterministic constraint of the MAV and obstacles mean position as well as their uncertainty covariance to make the optimization problem tractable. Hence, it can be efficiently solved using some solver, for example, Arcado in our work. Now we show our experimental results. In order to obtain some quantitative results, we use an external motion capture system, the OptiTrack, to measure the position of the MAV and the moving obstacles, which is only used as ground truth data. In the scenario shown in this slide, the MAV was flying around two walking human obstacles. We first evaluate the obstacle detection and the tracking performance by comparing the detection results with ground truth data. The left figure shows the obstacle traces, and the right figure shows the average estimation errors of the two obstacles. It can be observed that the average precision estimation error is around 0.3 meter, and that of the velocity can be up to 0.5 meter per second, which indicates that the obstacle sensing uncertainty should be taken into account when planning robust collision free trajectories for the MAV. We run the experiments five times in this lab scenario. This video shows one of the runs. The MAV successfully avoided the two walking humans when flying forward. We measured the distance between the MAV and the two obstacles using ground truth data, as shown in the left figure here. It shows that the collision free condition was satisfied in all five runs. The red figure here gives the box plot of the onboard run times of each module in the system. It can be seen that the obstacle detection and the tracking module is running very fast at around 60 Hz and the model predictive control module is also very fast for real-time collision avoidance. In conclusion, we proposed an onboard vision-based approach for MAV collision avoidance in dynamic environments. The approach relies on a fast obstacle detection and tracking method, which can run at frame rate, and the chance constrained model predictive control, which can handle MAV localization and obstacle detection uncertainties. In our experiments, the MAV is shown to be able to avoid walking human obstacles at a maximum speed of 2.4 meters per second. Thanks for your attention.